Alright guys and gals, in this video I'm going to show you how to name um, ionic and metallic compounds with polyatomic ions. Now the polyatomic ions are at the bottom of the white sheet on the back. They're all down here, the polyatomic ions are. Uh, basically, let's say that you're given a name such as, um, let's say the name is, I'll just pick something off the front. Let's say they give you magnesium and I'm just, I picked one of these off the front, just named a metal. Out of the first two columns I picked magnesium. And let's say the other name they give you is um, chlorate. Okay, I'm picking chlorate from right here. Now chlorate is C H uh, L O R A T E. That's magnesium chlorate. Now if they ask you to write the formula for magnesium chlorate, what you would do is write down the ions. Magnesium is Mg plus 2. Chlorate, you will find this on the back of your white sheet in the column of polyatomic ions. Now the reason why I know this is a polyatomic ion is polyatomic ion always ends in like A-T-E, uh, I-T-E, um, sometimes M, uh, well I said I-T-E and A-T-E. Really, that's the dead giveaway. But, you know, there are a few that uh, end in other things, but not that many. Anyway, um, you look for chlorate on the back of the sheet, and you'll see that chlorate is ClO3 negative 1, so you write that down. ClO3. Now, it does just have negative on the back of the yellow sheet, but that's the negative first power. Now, remember, just like in the others, the pluses and the minus are done once you know which one to write first, which one to write second. After that, you'll bring these numbers down, okay, because they can't reduce because one of them's a two, one's a one, and they will fill in those spaces there. So you would write, for the formula of magnesium chlorate, you'd write Mg1, which we don't write once. Then you have this ClO3, but this two comes down behind this three. So to make sure that we see the polyatomic ion group of atoms, you put it in a set of parentheses and throw the two down behind it. And that's it. Now, let's say that you had something um, that is not as easy. Let's say someone gave you, um, let me look in the back. Let's say someone gave you uh, this, this name, copper. Uh, two. Now this time I'm using something from the transition metals, uh, CU. It's in the D block. So I'm going to look on the back of the uh, yellow sheet at the top for the ions to see if I can find copper 2. And lo and behold, copper 2 is right here with CU plus 2. Okay, so we know it's you know definitely one of those uh, polyatomic ions that uses Roman numerals as they have shown you here. Let's say they gave you copper 2 now let's pick something like uh, the name acetate. A C. Let me make sure I spell this right. A uh, C E T A T E. And make sure I, I got the spelling right from the back of the white sheet. That's what's nice about these. And yes, you can use these on your test. Anyway. I love the ones that have the names like this because you know what to write. Copper 2, you write Cu plus 2. Acetate, man. Well, here on the uh, white sheet, uh, they show acetate as being uh, C2, H3, O2 with a negative 1 charge. Now once again, once you get the charges written down, the ions, you no longer need the plus, you no longer need the minus, and you just bring them down. The one will go down behind the CE, the two will go behind this two. Okay, so you have CU1, which you don't write once. Then you have the group of atoms that make up the uh, polyatomic ion, C2, H3, O2, and I have to put this back in a set of parentheses and then the two behind it. Now, 
there are situations where things do cancel out nicely. Uh, an example could be, say, if you had the following. Say you had um, sodium acetate. Okay, sodium is Na plus 1. Acetate you see with C2H3O2 negative 1. You can see that these numbers match. So, you know, all you have to bring down is 1s and you don't write down 1s. Or if the numbers match, you don't write them down at all. So, sodium acetate would just be NaCtoH3O2. Notice that the set of parentheses are not needed here because there's no subscripts that we have to bring down because the ones reduce each other out. They cancel out completely because they're identical. They're the same multiple of each other. One. Alright, I hope this uh, video helped with uh, naming the compounds, you know, writing the formulas. Now in the next video, I'll give you the formula and then you figure out its name. Alright, hope this helps. Bye.